its relatively brief lifespan of 25 years, the Subaru Impreza has won hundreds of rally championship titles around the world, including the African Rally Series a whopping 16 times. But will this fifth generation continue the legacy? We're about to find out. We don't generally quote from press releases, but in the case of the Subaru WRX, we'll make an exception. Subaru says the sharper body style of the new Impreza illustrates its dynamic and elegant design cues. Well, we think it looks a bit too much like a Toyota Corolla for comfort, but maybe that's just us. Perhaps the designers got carried away in their pursuit of aerodynamic efficiency, but at least in that regard they have succeeded. The new Impreza sporting a drag coefficient of just 0.278. Under its innocuous skin, things seem much more inspired though. The Impreza is built on Subaru's new global platform, which in turn has been designed in conjunction with the new FB 2.0-litre boxer engine. The engine and gearbox alone account for a 20 kilogram weight saving over the old model, while Subaru's highly regarded CBT features a 7-speed manual mode, just the thing for brisk track driving. So, it's the first time I'm actually driving a Subaru. And it's actually really, really comfortable. And the all-wheel drive helps keep the car grounded through the corners. The brakes work really, really well. But <laughs> I'm not impressed with the, the speed of this vehicle. All I feel is it revs itself broken and goes nowhere. I'm really disappointed. We will eventually get there though. But you can put it anywhere on the track and it goes. So it is a lot of fun to drive around the racetrack. But yeah, I'm not impressed with its speed ability. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but there's this really annoying whining sound that is there all the time. But I can't completely knock it. There are some really nice aspects of this car. I just don't think I'm its biggest fan. Compared to the other sedans we've tested on GT laps, the Subaru's lap time of 125.49 seconds hardly seems impressive. But bear in mind that this is the standard bread and butter Impreza. If it's out and out performance you're after, the company still does offer an SDI version of the outgoing model, which incidentally has just come up for some comprehensive upgrades too. I found the Impreza a little underpowered, but the all-wheel drive system makes up for it in its handling capabilities. Thank <laughs> you. 